Hey everyone, welcome to today's Trade Hacker update. Today is Tuesday, October 13th. Taking a look at the markets, we got a little bit of a mixed market today. S&P, Dow, and Russell are all in the red and the NASDAQ is slightly positive. So what we've been talking about for the last several weeks uh, after this big flush, we were looking for potentially another third leg down. Doesn't look like we're gonna get that. And now it looks like we're really just gonna blow through the all-time highs here looking at the S&P. And so we are adjusting our portfolio accordingly. Now we're not gonna just all of a sudden get long. We're still gonna carry some short delta, but on days like this where we do see a little downside action, we've started lightening our deltas, closed out a bunker yesterday, closed out one today. We also added an iron duck, so it has no risk to the upside. In fact, we'll make a little bit of money on the upside. However, we do have a big buffer to the downside if this thing does decide to come down. So going, I just think going into the election and based on the price action here that we're seeing, we pushed back above this volatility box that we were kind of focusing on, really showing some strength here, specifically the last four trading days. And you know, it looked like at this point where price kind of got up to the top of that volatility box, we had a really nice down move. It looked like we would potentially get a continuation, but as soon as that got ripped off, it was off to the races to the upside. So I think going into the election, you know, we're going to blow through the all time highs here. It, you know, we're not going to, we may not just blast right through here in the next couple of days. We may have some wild swings to get there, but I do think leading up to the election, we will be blowing through that. And then then once the election happens, well, that's a different story. We will reevaluate from there. So here's uh, here's what we did today. I mentioned the duck. We also had a nice morning of day trading, booked over $1,700 in profits. Uh, just really loving trading these runners on stocks that are reaching all-time highs. For example, like Roku, just blowing through all-time highs, huge moves up. Peloton is another is another one that we keep catching these really nice upside runners, just continuing to crush new all-time highs. And a lot of stocks making some big moves today where the NASDAQ is just barely up. You've got a lot of tech stocks making some really big moves. Uh, JP Morgan announced earnings and it wasn't great. So JP Morgan's down a little bit and all the, all the financials are down a little bit, which is also pulling the Russell down because the Russell is made up of a lot of financial institutions. Delta Airlines also down. Uh, they talked about some additional bleeding of cash. Uh, but you've got a lot of, I mean, Disney up three and a half percent, DocuSign up over three percent. I already mentioned Roku, I already mentioned Peloton, uh, Netflix up another three percent. And all these stocks are coming up on earnings here in the next few weeks. So it'll be interesting to see how those play out. Zoom up another five percent, just about to crush through its all time highs again. So just we're continuing to just let price action lead us where we want to go. We're still selling premium in our core portfolio, but also layering in directional type stuff and, and removing short stuff. And, and we'll continue and we may add in some long, long positions leading up to these earnings announcements as well. So that's the plan. If you want to join us for day trading live in the morning, you can do that. Uh, just go to navigationtrading.com slash day trade to learn more there. Uh, we're having a lot of fun in there, making some money, and uh, look forward to seeing you there. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we will catch you there. Bye.